We are now set for our next bout. This will be three rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the red corner. He weighs 170 pounds from Des Plaines, Illinois. Please welcome Rafael Alfaro. His opponent in the blue corner. He weighs 165 pounds from Tinley Park, Illinois. Please welcome Jackson Callahan. To the next round, Rafael Farrell in the long black trunks, red tape on his gloves. That's Jackson Callahan also with the black trunks, blue tape on his gloves. Both fighters winning by submission in round one. Wow, violence right away from Alfaro. Callahan came out through a kick and did not set his kick up. He paid for that right away with a takedown. Latching onto an arm there, but Alfaro's gonna pound his way out of this. Very physically strong, you could see for Rafael Alfaro. Big strength advantage, and he's going to be able to use that on top. Great job landing a big right hand, passing the legs over. He's got Jackson Callahan in a nasty position here. Callahan's going to need to either close the space and hang on to his opponent, or create more space and get up, because this mid-range they're the fighting at right now is bad for ground and pound from his end. Yeah, unless he gets the full guard, he's going to continue to eat punches. Great job, Stan. He got back to his feet, a forward roll. <laughs> Fantastic stuff And remember, from Jackson Callahan, who's fishing for an armbar right now. He might turn this into an omoplata, misses that. Still being active off of his back, though. And as you were saying, Mike, in between fights at Callahan, he was getting it put to him in, in round one, uh, uh, his first fight, rather, round one of the tournament, came back and won by a rear naked choke, so we're not gonna count him out at all. I mean, he was getting lit up like a Christmas tree in that first fight that he had here at Rise of the Gladiator. He was able to snatch up a rear naked choke out of nowhere. He's gonna need something like that here tonight. He's taking a pounding right away early. As you said, Matt, same thing we saw in his first fight. Still trying to get onto that he's arm bar. He's on his back here, Matt. I don't like where he's at. The referee's looking in to stop this, and he would be in his right to stop this fight. It doesn't seem that Callahan is intelligently defending himself right now. Well, he could also get up, it looks like. I'm amazed Time they let it short. keep Will going. Get, yeah, let's see if he gets it to round two. Oh, he tapped, he tapped, he tapped. He did tap. The ref said no. The ref said no. Ooh. Wow, that looked to me like he tapped. It looked like to well, me like Jackson Callahan was mentally breaking. And, and it looked like he tapped at the end there. He's saying corners in. What's going on? What's going on? Is it over? It's second round. The next round's coming in. Wow, well, I thought he tapped, man. He definitely tapped. And it was before the horn, of course. We have the privilege of not only looking up at the action, but seeing it on a monitor. And it was very clear that he had tapped. We're asking our truck right now for an instant replay. Chuck Pilcher, the man, the myth, and the legend. And now he's waving it off. Wow. Now he's waving okay. it off. So that's great. You know, let's just wow. get the right call, however long it takes. So that's a good job. I wonder what the official call is. By I'm Nick interested Simmer to hear what referee. they say out. I'm not sure if it's going to be a tap or if it's going to be a, a corner stoppage or what's going on there. To me, it seemed like he tapped at the end of that round. He definitely tapped before the horn. And... Uh, Good job by Nick Sim to come to the right conclusion there with some help from our fine judges and referees here on site. So you can see the you can see the the replay. Ladies now. and gentlemen, the end comes at the end of round number one for your winner due to his opponent's failure to continue. Your winner, Rafael Alfaro.
Raphael, incredible victory. You really pushed the pace to this fight. You came out guns blazing. Is that how you wanted to start this fight? Absolutely. How different was this fight compared to your last fight? This is your second time in the XFO cage. Did you feel a little bit more at ease knowing that you kind of got the jitters out of the way in that first fight? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, second fight through, I feel a little more comfortable. Uh, I was just out there having fun. With Talk about the end. And once you got on top, you really were nonstop. And you almost were able to get the rear naked choke synced in, obviously. It, weren't, it wasn't in time for the bell. Talk us through that process. Was the game plan to take him down and use your ground and pound? Uh, yeah, I really wanted a KO. Jackson's fucking tough. Wasn't having it, so I had to try something different. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give a round of applause for Rafael Alfaro.